When we encounter a remainder in real life, what do we do? Well, the answer is, it depends on what the question is. I'm going to go over the basic options here, but it's possible that we might encounter an application where we need to do something yet different that's very specific to what we happen to be doing. One option we might use is to just round down and ignore the remainder. An example of a place where we might do this is where we're filling packages. Suppose I baked 40 cookies and want to put them in packages of three for a bake sale. How many packages can I make? Well, I have 40 cookies divided by three cookies per package. 40 divided by three is 13 point something. So I get 13 packages and some number of cookies left over. I could go through the process that we saw for finding out what the remainder is, but that's not necessary for this question. Right? Because I just want to know how many packages I can make. So my answer is that I can make 13 packages. I only care about how many packages I can make, so I don't really care about how much is left over. Sometimes, instead of rounding down and just ignoring the remainder, I want to round up. I want to go up to the next whole number. An example of this is pretty much any time you want to make sure that you have enough of something. So, here's a situation where this might be an issue. A club is chartering buses for an event. Each bus holds 46 passengers, and the club has 550 members. How many buses do they need to charter? So again, we're going to do division here. 550 members divided by 46 members per bus. Right? What does that make? 550 divided by 46, 11, and then some remainder. 11 buses and then some number of members are left over. So note, with 11 buses, they can carry 46 times 11 is 506 passengers. If they charter 11 buses, they won't have enough space for all their members. So instead, they want to go up to the next number. They want to charter 12 buses. Those extra members beyond the 506 will get on the 12th bus, right? That 12th bus will have some space empty, but they need to have enough space for everyone. Okay, what other options do we have? Sometimes the best option is to just make slightly uneven groups. An example of a situation where this might come up is where you're making teams. So maybe we have a group of 37 children and we want to split them into eight teams. And we want the teams to be as close to even sized as possible. How many children should we put on each team? So we take 37 children divided by eight teams. Right? 37 divided by 8 is, well, we'll have four children per team. And here it does matter how many are left over, so we need to actually work that out. Right? 8 into 
37 goes 4 times, right? That's the 4 the calculator gave us. 4 times 8 is 32. We'll have 5 left over. All right now we're not going to make those five children sit out. What are we going to do? Well, we'll have on five teams, we'll have one of the extra children. So on five teams, we'll have the four children that division gave us plus one of the extras. On the remaining three teams, we'll only have the four that division gave us. One more option that keeps us within the whole numbers. Sometimes we just handle that remainder separately. So an example of this might be buying things. So maybe I can buy buttons in packages of six or I can buy them individually. I need 25 buttons. What should I buy? Well, 25 buttons divided by six buttons per package. I know I'm going to need to know what the remainder is, and these are fairly small numbers, so I'm just going to work this out by hand. Right, 6 goes into 25 four times, with one left over. So that's four packages, and one left over. So I should buy, right, because this is an option, I should buy four packages and then also one individual button. Of course, I do have one more option to handle remainders. I'm going to mention it now, but we're not going to be able to do it until we get some more numbers. Our last option for how to handle a remainder is to split it up using a fraction. And we'll talk more about that when we have some fractions available to us.